Right, so I'm attempting to remove the HydraShift gearbox from a 1594 here. So it's basically ready now to split. It's, you have to do, obviously, you have to take the cab, the top of the gearbox off, but you also have to take really the um, all the drawbar, the lower link sensing, the linkages. Um, whole ton of like the hydraulic pipes as well um, but anyway it's all off now then so what we've got now is a tr oh and underneath the four-wheel drive drop box um, and uh, the gear that it engages with on the bottom of the hydro shift because that just sticks slightly through the casing so that's dropped off. So as far as I know, absolutely everything that is to stop that coming apart has been taken off. So the front of the track is supported by this large trolley jack here. Um, the front of the, the back of the gearbox, you make a plate up, put this bolt in here, and that just slightly lifts that off of this casing at the back. You undo the bolts that hold the gearbox down. Um, the front of this, so this will all stay here in, in, cause it's attached obviously to the, uh, um, the diff and the, um, half shafts. Then the front of the gearbox you support using, which I've got this engine hoist here and I'll put a bit of weight on there. I think that's probably about right. So that's got a bit of tension on it. And then the tractor itself, obviously you chock the wheels, which I've chocked there, and I've got two jacks either side holding the back axle, essentially. Um, so everything's, all the bolts are undone now, everything's undone. The hydraulic lines, the high pressure hydraulic lines to the back are undone. The only thing I've got to do now is push it apart. <laughs> so, Wish me luck with that, and I'll show you a fair picture of it once it's done. Right, so we have successfully, well, I say we, me, um, I've successfully split it, um, the tractor, um, so it's hanging off, the back of the gearbox is now hanging off of that, and the front I've took the engine hoist off and just sitting it on an axle stand for the minute so I can bring the engine hoist round to actually take that weight. Um, yeah, it all went pretty straightforwardly as these things ever do. I needed just to have a little bit more weight on the jack and on the uh, on the sort of trolley jack and the two jacks that was a little bit low so it dropped and went tight um, but it went far out so it didn't need much adjustment the only big thing I've had to do which I forgot about was to take the PTO um, cover off and pull the PTO shaft out the reason for that being that which I had sort of forgot, the shaft comes all the way through here and sticks out about that far. And obviously if you've got to take this off, you need to get rid of that shaft because it's running right through the gearbox back to the uh, PTO gear selector, um, which is just here. We've well, got your two speed PTO. Uh, so, yeah, a couple of other little minor bits that had to come off, but basically um, relatively straightforward. So, oh, and this oil pipe, I forgot to take that lubricant. No, actually, I didn't need to take that lubricant pipe off. I do now for the next bit. But Anyhow, um, so I'll now get the engine hoist round and undo the four bolts or nuts. Uh, and then it all slides forward off of these um, long um, studs, whatever you want to call them. I believe this 
here holds, so these little ones hold this end plate on, but the whole lot should just slide off. It's quite a compact little unit really, it's just that. Um, so we'll get uh, get that um, some strops around it on that engine hoist and pull that off. Right, so I slid the gearbox off of these um, um, retaining um, bolts or. Um, and uh, something, so it did split from here. I had to disconnect that oil pipe, oil feed pipe from the um, hydro shift pump. That's the only thing I hadn't done. And then here it is. So the gearbox is off. It's quite heavy, obviously, but it is pretty compact. Um, these little things on the bottom here are the pistons that um, release the hydraulic brake bands and then the, the pressure is released from them with the sequence valve which time it because you've got a little spring here and there's a little uh, piston inside there with a hole in it and so it'll move through the oil and release through these holes release quickly. There, what time the timings of the two packs. Um, so you've got one for each brake band there. Um, so what we're interested in is this back um, clutch um, as to what the hell's going on with it. So I'll take that to bits and have a look at it. If I can't work out what's happening with it, what I'm going to do, and what I might do anyway, which um, apparently I can, I can take that to um, Barclay Williams, who've got a test um, bed where you can just run that, obviously, without having to have it attached to a tractor and set the whole thing up as well, which would probably be useful. So even if I can do find out what's going on with it, um, I might take it there and get them just to set it up because um, it would be a lot easier and a nice little ride out to Evesham Way. Um, but anyway, that's how you take it off. It's quite possible to do it on your own because that's what I've done. Um, obviously, it's easier if you've got someone to help you. The only thing I'd do differently probably is this engine hoist because I can't have it in a straight line. Um, with that, it was tricky to sort of draw that backwards because it was sort of wanting to go over this way as well. So I think when I put it back, I'll probably hang that off the forklift, which I can telescope out over here and then draw it back on, which will probably be a hell of a lot easier. Um, if you look here, this is the, so, and that's the PTO shaft that comes in and out so I'll just push that back um, so yeah that's it that is your hydro shift unit now uh, I think I'm right in saying I think this is what Stuart told me you can get a whole exchange unit for that for 2300 I think he said which strikes me um, well, you might say the tractor's probably not worth that, but let's say you're going to do it anyway. For a gearbox, you know, I don't know. You look at that and you look at the price of some things, I reckon that's pretty good. So, um, anyway, we'll, um, I'll take that off and take that, bit off and see how it is but for that for now is uh yeah that's the hydro shift gearbox coming out of a now very sick looking 1594